Okay, so to start, I'm going to be taking my IT Cosmetics CC Cream, dotting that all over my face and blending that in with my fingers. I typically don't wear foundation, but I decided to give this one a try because it does have really light coverage, but it is buildable, and it's really easy to blend as well, so I really like it. Now taking the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend a little bit more to make sure that everything is seamless. Really quickly, I'm going to be taking some Lorac eyeshadow primer and I'm going to prime both eyelids. Now I'm going to be taking my eyebrow pencil. I'm going to take the spoolie side to brush out my eyebrows and then I'm going to go in with the pencil side. This is the Eyelore eyebrow pencil in dark brown. Now I'm going to be taking my NYX eyebrow powder. This is in the shades taupe or ash, I believe. And I'm going to just run a little bit of powder on both eyebrows. Now I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. This is in the shade chocolate and I'm going to set both eyebrows. For eyeshadows, I'm going to take the Kat Von D shade in light palette. And I'm going to start with that uh, highlight color and I'm going to apply that all over both eyelids. Now I'm going to be taking the very first medium brown shade and apply that to my crease. I'm going to be concentrating this color on the crease in a windshield wiper motion and on the lash line. Now I lost the clip of me deepening up the crease and the lash line but all I did was take a few more of the darker browns in the palette and just deepen up that transition color. Going in with my e.l.f. smudge pot in the shade brownie points, I'm going to apply this color with my fingers on the very center of my lid where there is no color. And I'm going to buff out the edges with the same fluffy brush that I used for my transition and crease. I'm going to take my gel eyeliner and I'm going to proceed to make a small cat eye, nothing too crazy. With a black eyeliner, I'm going to tight line the top lash line. Then I'm going to go in with two mascaras. The first one is the L'Oreal Superstar Mascara. Um, it has a primer end and the mascara end. I'm going to apply that to both eyelashes and then go in with the Maybelline Push-Up Falsies and apply that as well. Okay, so with the mascara, these are the eyes so far. Now really quickly, I'm going to conceal. This concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color um, Light Medium Neutral, I believe. And this matches my skin tone. So I'm going to do that just to conceal really quickly, blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Now with a lighter concealer, this is um, in the shade Light Neutral, I'm going to highlight the very inner corner of my eyes, bridge of my nose, and my forehead as well, and then blend it out with a beauty blender. To set my face, I'm going to take the NYX HD powder and um, set my face. Going back to the palette, I'm going to be taking that reddish brown and the brown next to it and I'm going to start to smoke out the lash line with a pencil brush. With that same brush, I'm just going to define the edges of my crease just a little bit just to give it more shape and a little bit more definition. With a different pencil brush, I'm going to take that same highlight color from earlier and I'm going to apply it to the inner corner and tear duct. Taking a nude eyeliner, I'm going to apply this to the waterline. Then I'm going to finish off the lower lashes with the Maybelline Mascara. Now going back to the face, I'm going to take my bronzer and I'm going to begin to lightly contour. I'm not really into super harsh contour. I just like to use it to warm up my face. So I'm just gonna apply that to the hollows of my cheekbones, forehead, 
and I'm going to also add it to my nose as well, just on the sides. Now I'm going to take my MAC blush, this is in the shade Melba, and I'm going to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going to highlight. This highlighter is discontinued, but it is my favorite one. So I'm just going to add that to my cheekbones, bridge of the nose, and Cupid's bow. Now I'm going to begin to line my lips. This is a Rimmel London lip liner. I will have the name in the description box. Then go in with the Lime Crime Wicked Velveteen and um, apply that all over my lips. Gorgeous red. I think it goes perfect with this look. Okay, so once the lipstick is on, that is the completed look. Super easy, super simple. I think it's really glamorous and classic. Perfect for any occasion, whether it's Valentine's Day, a date night, or just for yourself. This look is really, really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!